So on the front of your machine, you've got a reverse button, but it's also a permanent reverse, meaning it, meaning it will sew backwards without you having to hold this in. Let's talk about why you would use it in both options. When you start off, you do get those locking stitches at the beginning, but some people prefer to have the reverse of the locking stitches where it goes back right on top of the previous stitching, or even at the end of their row of stitching where they touch and hold it. If you touch and hold it while you're in motion, letting go of it when you're done, then it goes ahead and then returns back to the forward position. Use the selected thread cutter to cut your threads and you have what you've normally used to seeing on your fabric. Now, let's say you're sewing along and you stop sewing and you go to touch the reverse button thinking you're going to, uh, well, let's see, the light's on, thinking you're gonna go backwards and forward a little bit. This actually keeps going backwards if the light is left on. That means you'd have to push it to get it to go forward again. Now there is a place I have used that from time to time where literally I need to sew in the reverse. So sometimes instead of holding this button down, I've got to hold my fabric. My project is gigantic. I'll reach up here, turn that permanent reverse on, do the back stitching that I need to do. Maybe I have to go back out more than I expected and then touch it to turn it off. Then I can go ahead and hold my project both in the reverse and the forward sewing options there. So just note that if you start going backwards unexpectedly, you've hit this and that light is on, all you have to do is touch it one more time.